Well, I just came out and I crossed uh, over a uh, electric fence and there was tracks everywhere and there was a couple holes where a fox had dug and peed and uh, I didn't bring any footholds but I was actually going to leave my skidoo at the, or, uh, at the landing at the farmer's house and then run back and grab a couple and uh, set them up because those were fresh but here's my first uh, little pen and I have a fox in there now I'm not super happy because he didn't get choked I think my snare was probably uh, too big um, I had kind of set them big so that hopefully I could get a, uh, a coyote or a wolf to poke uh, Here's the fox I got uh, yesterday. He's thawed out so I'm going to skin him up there in the next little bit. I'll have a bite to eat first. I was just making some muskrat, muskrat floats like uh, Kirk had been making. Oh, this, I think this video was a year old now maybe. But uh, yeah, here's the fox. He's not a bad fox. Really nice coat. Real dark uh, paws and legs. Really nice tail. Pretty nice critter. Not a big fox. But a fox all the same for uh, my first fox. I'm pretty happy. Uh, it wasn't a great catch. It was kind of right, uh, right above the front paw. And then around here. Around his back. So around the, one, the front on the one side and back on the other. So it wasn't around the neck, but I did have my snares pretty big. They are probably 14, 16 inches um, so that if I could.